Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect up a Nintendo Switch Pro controller to your Mac so you can use it on the PC SX3 emulator to play PlayStation 1 games. That's pretty cool. The Nintendo Switch Pro controller on your Mac for a Sony emulator to play Crash Bandicoot. So three different sort of you know systems all working together through emulation. Okay, so first of all, it's pretty simple. And this only works wirelessly, bear in mind. The wired option, you could usually think the wired option works fine and then the wireless has issues. With this, the wired option has issues and I want to show you those issues. So if we go to preferences and if I go to configure, as you can see there's no controller there. I haven't connected it yet. And now you should be seeing the controller, you will now. So I'm just going to connect it up. Like so, the light will turn on. Fantastic. So now, if I go back to configure, Pro Controller's there. And if I double click it, watch this, I'm not pressing any button at all. As you can see, I'm not pressing anything. If I double click any of them, it just seems to assign hat to zero up, which is the, you know, this right here, the, you know, the D-pad. And we don't want that to automatically assign. So that's the problem with wide. Somebody knows of a solution of how to fix that. That'd be great. So we can have a wide option as well. But you have to sync it via Bluetooth. So let's get that done. So go to system preferences. Go to Bluetooth. And okay, so you want to print a syncing mode. So press this little button right here. It's quite small compared to most syncing buttons. I have to use my nail. You hear feel a vibration and after a couple of seconds, as you can see, it's appeared here. Click connect, it's now connected. So let's disconnect this. Don't know how long my battery's gone last because it was dead when I just got it out. But let's go to configure. Pro controllers there. Now if I try and do it, I can map every control as I you know usually would. Uh, let's switch hands. So. R1, so we'll do this one right here. L2, we'll do this. R3, and select. I'm going to put this minus button. Start of this plus button. Okay, so click OK. Close this. Minimize this. Don't need this anymore. Let's open up. PCSX3 again, no, PCSXR, <laughs> keep getting confused. Uh, run recent, defreeze the state. Uh, I've just turned the volume off. And as you can see, it is working. Load the level, I'm gonna quickly show you it fully working. And uh, yep. So that is how you connect up your, as you can see, it's working. Bear in mind, the square and the circle in the original Crash Bandicoot performed the same function as spin. Whereas in later games, square was spin and circle was to slide. So it's not a bug, it's just this game. I haven't mapped the analog sticks. You can map them if you really want to. Let me show you how. Can't go to preferences while you're in game. You have to go to close preferences, configure, and go to analog pad, and the rest appear there. So that's just the left and right sticks clicking, and those are the you know mapping of the actual sticks, the direction. So feel free to do that if you you know want that extra flexibility. So that is it. The actual syncing part that I showed you in terms of you know pressing this button here, connected in Bluetooth. Once you've done that. This should work for most emulators and most of the stuff like Steam VR and not Steam VR, Steam, you know, big picture and Steam games. So yeah, this tutor tutorial is for PCSX3, but the starting part, the connectivity part, should work for most things. But if you find it doesn't, feel free to pop me a message and you know I'll create a video or I'll help you in some other way. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.